आम संतोष आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू क्यू फैक्टर ऑफ एल सी आर सर्किट फ्रॉम कोर्स नंबर पी एच वन वन जीरो फिजिक्स लेबोरेटरी कोर्स फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू द प्रोसीजर एंड देन वन कैन कलेक्ट डेटा बाई ऑब्जर्विंग दिस वीडियो सो स्टार्ट टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी रिक्वायर अ फंक्शन जनरेटर अ मल्टीमीटर an inductor a breadboard some resistances a capacitor banana to crocodile cable two pairs bnc to crocodile cable quantity 1 and some connecting leads by the color code one resistance is of 10 ohm another resistance is of 3.3 ohm we will measure their values with the help of multimeter capacitor has a code 104j which gives its value 0.1 microfarad as we can see both legs are of equal length so there is no problem of polarity we can connect it in the circuit in any manner inside this box there is an inductor of 4 milli henry The measured value of 10 ohm resistance is 10.29 ohm. Measured value of 3.3 ohm resistance is 3.57 ohm. Resistance of inductor is 23.72 ohm. We will take sine wave output from channel 1 of this function generator. This is going to inductor and after inductor it is connected to capacitor the capacitor is connected in series with the resistance of 10 ohm right now and the ground part of this function generator source is connected at the end of this resistance because we have to measure the voltage in this experiment so voltmeter is connected across the resistance In this experiment we will obtain voltages with respect to change of frequencies as we can see this graph is ideal and we will obtain such type of graph with this experiment initially we will start from frequency of 1 kilohertz and we will go further due to its values of resistance capacitor and inductance we will get the peak value at near about 8 kilohertz and after that the value of voltages will be decreasing in that manner initially we can take large steps of the frequencies but when we are reaching towards this point we will take short intervals of frequencies so that we will able to define this peak sharply and later on we can again increase the intervals of frequencies as we can see we will start from the frequency 1 kilohertz amplitude of this function generator is set at 2 volt peak to peak offset is adjusted at 0 volt and phase it as 0.0 degree we can see its internal impedance is 50 ohm and that will be considered later on now by pressing this output button experiment will start so i am pressing this output button and we can see the value of voltage right now is 8.84 millivolt at 1.5 kilohertz we are getting this much voltage this voltage is at 2 kilohertz at 2.5 kilohertz this voltage is obtained this is at 3 kilohertz this is at 3.5 kilohertz this is at 4 kilohertz at 4.5 kilohertz this value is obtained this voltage is at 5 kilohertz at 5.5 kilohertz this voltage is obtained at 6 kilohertz 0.5 kilohertz this is at 7 kilohertz now from here we will take a small steps this is at 7.2 kilohertz This value is at 7.4 kilohertz. This reading is at 7.6 kilohertz. 
this value is at 7.8 kilohertz we are getting this at 7.9 kilohertz this value is at 8 kilohertz this value is at 8.1 kilohertz this is at 8.2 kilohertz this value is at 8.4 kilohertz this value is at 8.6 kilohertz this value is at 8.8 kilohertz this is at 9 kilohertz this value is at 9.5 kilohertz at 10 kilohertz at 10.5 kilohertz at 11 kilohertz at 11.5 kilohertz at 12 kilohertz at 12.5 kilohertz this is at 13 kilohertz this is at 13.5 kilohertz at 14 kilohertz at 14.5 kilohertz at 15 kilohertz at 16 kilohertz at 17 kilohertz at 18 kilohertz at 19 kilohertz at 20 kilohertz at 22 kilohertz at 24 kilohertz at 26 kilohertz at 28 kilohertz at 30 kilohertz at 32 kilohertz at 34 kilohertz at 36 kilohertz at 38 kilohertz at 40 kilohertz now we are finishing our data collection for this resistance again we will perform the same experiment with the resistance of 3.3 ohm with resistance of 3.3 ohm we are getting 3.05 millivolt at 1 kilohertz this is at 1.5 kilohertz this value is at 2 kilohertz at 2.5 kilohertz at 3 kilohertz this value is at 3.5 kilohertz at 4 kilohertz at 4.5 kilohertz at 5 kilohertz at 5.5 kilohertz at 6 kilohertz at 6.5 kilohertz at 7 kilohertz at 7.2 kilohertz at 7.4 kilohertz at 7.6 kilohertz at 7.8 kilohertz at 7.9 kilohertz at 8 kilohertz at 8.1 kilohertz at 8.2 kilohertz at 8.4 kilohertz at 8.6 kilohertz at 8.8 kilohertz at 9 kilohertz at 9.5 kilohertz at 10 kilohertz at 10.5 kilohertz at 11 kilohertz at 11.5 kilohertz at 12 kilohertz at 12.5 kilohertz at 13 kilohertz at 13.5 kilohertz at 14 kilohertz at 14.5 kilohertz at 15 kilohertz at 16 kilohertz 
at 17 kilohertz at 18 kilohertz at 19 kilohertz at 20 kilohertz at 22 kilohertz at 24 kilohertz at 26 kilohertz at 28 kilohertz at 30 kilohertz at 32 kilohertz at 34 kilohertz at 36 kilohertz at 38 kilohertz at 40 kilohertz now we are finishing our data collection here with the help of collected data and the laboratory manual one can calculate the quality factor of this LCR circuit experimental calculation will be done with the help of graphical plot when you will calculate the Q factor of this circuit with the theoretical values with use of formula then you will get a difference between the experimental found value and the theoretical due to the resistance value for your theoretical calculation and your satisfaction please add 50 ohm impedance of that function generator and the resistance value of the inductor in the value of your resistance means if you are using 10 ohm resistance then the resistance value will be added with the impedance of function generator and the resistance of your inductor and hence you can report your experimental result thank you